You see, learning mathematics is considered a very difficult subject. And for years, mathematics is so difficult to many, as including myself. And until that today, I learned that the top mathematicians, they learn differently and they explain mathematics differently to the average math, uh, math teacher. And that really helps me to think differently. I learned something called active learning from Google. Barbara Oakley in this video, she shared about that and about the techniques. So I decided to apply it to something that I find so difficult to learn. That is standardization and by a professor that speak to me very dull tune as I is like this. Well, average is equal to 44.67. That is the average. Variance is this. So as you can see that the tone can really cause people to fall to sleep. As compared to this, I mean, this is really exciting. Um, so, what is really about standardization? So, um, at the end of the, this video, it actually shared this thing here. So, by the end of this, uh, I've looked at this and I was like, okay, I'm going to give up. What is this? All this so difficult. That was my previous reaction. When I see something like this, even if it's color, it's just way too fast. You're speaking way too fast. But actually, he didn't speak too so fast. He really speak like a professor speak. So it's not too fast. When I say it's way too fast because that I cannot understand. And I cannot understand is because that I do not understand how to learn effectively and until I watch this and I start to apply this technique how do you solve really difficult problems and how do you uh, take care of that um, so the she shared about some working memory and so on and right the first time that the mathematicians the top mathematicians understand this by using metaphor and uh, analogy so that reminds me that for years i couldn't understand what is standard deviation until i watched this gentleman he shared about this and i've got it very very clear and i understand what is standard deviation so I suggest you to go and Google about this video. And then once you understand standard deviations, then you understand z-score. And what is z-score is that how many standard deviations, a certain piece of data. Um, so the goal of this video is not to teach you, to help you to understand z-score or standard deviation. That is another video. Um, my goal here is to show you that I know what I'm what I'm, what, uh, what is this goal? And also, I want to share with you that watch that Google video on how to learn. And let's say I have something like this, and they say the formula is calculated this, and then you have all these things. So, um, how do you make it uh, more? Is that you can put it into this? Look at that. It's easier, right? Now, however, is that uh, Barbara actually shares a very important concept is that 
you must not when you're dealing with difficult difficult problem you must um, difficult problem or difficult subject you must cram a lot of things into it especially it's the first time you learn so I apply the same technique that she taught so once I understand this I actually stop I don't want to do anything I go and do I don't want to continue to read this this call I just let the mind uh, sink in the idea of this call and I go to do something open the uh, not something uh, require my mind one so uh, to to focus my mind one so first I want to take a, uh, a drink um, go to see some flowers take a deep breath all these are just great do some exercise and after maybe another 20 minutes which generally people think that you are not learning right after you learn 25 minutes and you run away I mean this is what kids do you learn something and then they start running and the teacher say stop stop running but the thing is that just because they are running do you think they are not learning on the contrary they are learning the more you understand what Barbara Oakley says and remember this is invited by Google one of the top company in the world she knows what she means right so definitely something worth for you to learn to 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 watch this now so once i understand this i, I began to see oh yeah that's the one right so after i take uh, some time to really so-called digest get so-called digesting and then i come back and deal with this boring subject with the boring tone and guess what I'm able to understand it for the first time yeah so now I'm ready to work on my this so what essentially this step two is that is uh, described by the professor is actually the step two is here here really just that but when she, he explained all in one shot I could understand and I have no way no way to us to do that because non-stop it's keep cramming cramming all the new or difficult in certain way is that yes you're speaking too fast yes it's not about a pace it's speaking too fast is that it's so new to me it's not about that the trainers speak too fast the trainer can sing a song so fast let it go, let it go, let it go. But you can get it because that it's not first time you hear it. So it's not the pace. It's actually the content. It's too new to you and to me. So I have to use a different approach. And before today, I really have no idea how to learn a difficult subject until today now I know how to do that and I know that why is it I understand um, the extended duration for the first time when I watched this gentleman that's so cool now I can just pick up this okay step two yeah really just take this about and the minus the average which is the step two and then I have used the z-score the z-score is this value and divided by standard duration. So what is this step three about? This step three about is actually this. So in that video, the professor actually divide this as a step one, two, and this is as a whole as a step three to derive the Z score for your number for the data point in the whole range. So now we know that this is the Z score. Z score is one the 1.3 standard duration uh to the no uh if if one is the uh, one standard duration then this is the negative one um if you understand this you got to study this gentleman he has been very very well about z score and um 
you can also go further and uh, explanation and there is a lot ways more ways to help you understand but just but do remember that memorizing recalling is the key of learning and the time is required now why do I record this video it's those because that I want to record it I'll help myself to recall and I also want to teach this to others because uh, teach to others is one of the techniques that I know that can be helping me and helping others she explained that also in refreshing others you will be refreshed very true that's the truth thanks for watching god bless you god bless asia together we can learn difficult subject like maths it's a piece of cake when you use the right technique